hello guys welcome to a new tutorial now i saw this snake design somewhere and i loved it i used it for my practical and i decided to share the sewing tutorial with you guys now take a piece of paper or your fabric it could be your paper or your fabric cut it on fold and you are going to place your pattern on it now you don't have to do this process you can just take a, a fabric and you cut or you cut out the shape of your upper part now cut the shoulder but don't cut the neckline then the ham hole and you leave some inches after the chest line so that is all we'll be needing for this neckline now you're going to place it on your pattern paper sorry your fashion fabric and you're going to cut like i said you can just cut directly on your fabric instead of you cutting it on the pattern paper first i think i did this before i realized that i'm supposed to just place my pattern on my fabric and cut after that i went ahead to open it up now i iron the middle so i can have that middle line then from the middle line I'm going to be coming down by three and a half inches now you can use four i think four is okay so for the neck width i mark four and a half inches no 4.75 yeah for the neck width 4.75 or four six eight then you're going to place it on the other side of the neckline and also mark after that guys yeah i'm going to be connecting one point now you can either pick any side you connect it to the neck depth just the way you see me doing like this and after that guys i'm going to just measure from the second neck width i'm going to measure 10 and half so if you want a cleavage to show you can do 12 inches but i decide to do 10 and a half then you're going to reel it up like that after that guys you're not going to place your ruler and connect where you see my pencil touching so you're going to reel it up like that and that is all about this neckline it is very simple I'm not going to mark two two inches that is going to be the facing of this neckline so I mark two two inches you can do three inches depending on how big you want your facing to be so two to three inches is okay so you're going to mark it all round so that will be cutting now guys um if you've not subscribed to my channel kindly do so if you are liking this video give me a like don't forget to share it to your loved ones to your friends so that they can learn how to make this simple and cheeky neckline you can do these necklines for ankara you can do it for ready to wear office dresses and all of that and i'm going to cut out the facing now so i'm going to be cutting it out then i would place it on the fabric to sew but i'm going to show you all of that so guys you can decide to gum your interfacing first before you mark the neck design or after marking the neck design you gum your interfacing this is very important so i have the middle of my dress i'm also going to place the middle of this facing now you can place the middle of the face like the facing fold it into two make sure both neck widths are the same so you can get the middle line then you iron it so place it on place it on the dress so you can see the way i'm trying to make sure everything is on the middle then i'm going to pin them down i 
I'm going to pin it down, pin everything so that when I'm sewing, it will not shake. That is why you need your pins. Pins are very important as a fashion designer. So always have your pins. Then I'm going to go ahead and now sew, following my pencil line. So let's go and sew. After sewing it, guys, this is how it is. And I'm going to be cutting. Now, if you are cutting, don't cut exactly on your thread. Leave like 2 8 or 0.25. And you are going to be cutting it. So cut just the way you see me doing like that. Just, just cut off the excess now this is how it is so you are going to give that place a very good notch like very close to your thread there so that when you turn it it should not be bulky on that part so i'm just going to notch that point i'm going to be notching after notching then i will turn so this is me removing my pins after that we are going to turn it so I went ahead to turn and I'm using my scissors to make sure the pointy part comes out very well I hope you all are enjoying this tutorial now if you're trying to Bring it out and you notice that that point is not very relaxed go ahead and still give it a notch but don't cut through yeah don't cut through so this is me now bringing everything out and I'm going to be giving it a very good press I will use my hemi gum to secure it you can weave your facing the edges so it will be very neat now this material is a calico but like I said I'm actually using it for a practice like a practical now that is a shoulder point where you'll be joining to the back of your dress so this is it after pressing it it is looking all fine now this is the dress on me on my practical presentation day it's so fine Alright guys, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.